Hello everyone, welcome back to my Tosca Automation channel. Today we'll explore the importance of clearing the Chrome browser cache stored in the local app data directory. This is important for web automation. In today's session we'll delve into another intriguing topic. In automating any web application, clearing the old cache stored in your browser is crucial. This step ensures that each execution within your browser starts afresh. Deleting all cache is a prerequisite step in executing test cases or automating applications, as leftover data might impact your results. Clearing cache from Chrome browser, manual method. To manually clear cache from the Chrome browser, navigate to settings, select more tools and then choose clear browsing data. Here you can select cached images and files, delete browser history and also access advanced options to clear other types of data. Tosca automation for cache clearing, TBOX start program. Let's create a test case titled Chrome cache using Tosca's TBOX automation module, specifically the TBOX start program. This module enables us to open the command prompt and execute specific commands to clear browser cache automatically. Setting up the delete command. In the tbox start program, we'll input cmd in the path, followed by various arguments. The primary command is del, which stands for delete, accompanied by parameters slash q forward slash s and forward slash f to specify the manner of deletion. We'll also include the default cache path for Chrome, which should be enclosed in double quotes to ensure correct parsing of the command. Explanation of command arguments. Each argument has a specific function. Forward slash F forces delete of read-only files. Forward slash S deletes files from the specified directory. And forward slash Q enables quiet mode, allowing the process to run in the background. Running the test and verifying results. Upon running this test, you'll observe a quick command prompt window displaying the deletion process. To verify if the cache has been cleared, you can navigate to the cache folder, which should be now empty indicating successful deletion. Closing remarks. This method can be applied to all browsers like Internet Explorer and Firefox with adjustments to the cache path argument. I hope you found this video informative. If you have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Stay tuned for more videos on Tosca and other automation tools. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for regular updates. Until our next video, Keep learning and exploring.